I get asked all the time what the mirror is on my gravel bike. And even though I've done a review on that mirror, I don't know, a year or two ago, I'm going to make a quick follow-up video just to get the word out again on the mirror that I use because, again, people ask me all the time. I can't believe y'all don't go back and watch all the 900 or so videos that I've uploaded in my lifetime. That's sarcasm. So this is the mirror, and it's in a package because I got another one to replace the one that's been on my gravel bike for many years. So it's the third eye mirror. And I got this from Amazon. So I typically try to order everything I can through my local bike shop, but I needed to get another one pretty quickly. And these are not that expensive. In fact, I'll put an affiliate link in the description below if you want to order one. Uh, you can help out my channel and help me pay for the Learjet that I've been saving up for by clicking on that affiliate link. More sarcasm. So here's the deal is these are lightweight. What I like about it is it just goes into the bar end really easily on a gravel bike or a mountain bike. And I'll talk about the mountain bike here in a minute. And it's, it just works great. I mean, there's no vibration. Uh, it has like a little rubber mount. So again, there's no vibration when you're riding, so it doesn't shake around. Now, the reason I'm replacing it is you can see on this one, I got to do this. So you, that's, that's going to be kind of weird. You're going to see my whole camera set up there. Uh, but so the thing is, I get this black ring around it after several years. So these aren't like super high quality. I mean, I would say this would probably last you about four years. There, you can see it really good right there. So I don't know, three or four years before you got to replace it because of this. Now, I live in a very humid environment, so that may have something to do with this, but you know, listen, it, it works great, but it again, it's not super high quality. So it's not like you're going to pass this down to your grandkids. But again, it's not that expensive. So why do I use a mirror? Well, it's probably obvious, but if you ride on the road, whatever type of bike you ride, mountain, gravel, road bike, personally, I think you have to have a mirror. So I ride with the Garmin Varia, and I'll put a link in the description below of a review that I've done on this. If you're not familiar with this, it's a radar. And so it sends a signal to my Garmin Edge 1030. And you can link the Varia to other types of GPS units, not just Garmin. I think you can link it to Wahoo as well. People have mentioned that. I've never tried it, but uh, follow up in the comments below if you don't mind to let us know if you can definitely link this to a Wahoo. So this Garmin Varia basically notifies me when a car is coming up behind me. Now, the reason it notifies you is not so you can brace for impact it's so you can check and make sure the car is going to go around you and you know 99.999 percent of the time they do there have been a few times where i've looked in my rear view mirror and i was like crap this car is not giving me enough clearance and you know whether they're on their phone texting uh, or whatever every once in a while there's a driver that doesn't get over and i won't really get too morbid in, in this video but you know, I lost a buddy of mine um, because of that. And so having a mirror lets you look down and check to make sure the driver is going to come around you without you having to turn your head over. And it, listen, it is just so natural for me to look down in this mirror and see a car behind me. In fact, before I had the Varia, I used to watch the mirror all the time. And, uh, you know, I just, I, it's just a habit. Like it's, I feel completely exposed if I don't have this mirror. So yeah, sorry, this video kind of became a safety video, but I, I'm, I'm huge on safety. Like I said, I lost a, my training partner, uh, several years ago. I won't get into that. That was another video. So the purpose of this video is to let you all know what mirror I use on my gravel bike. And this is it. So again, check it out on Amazon. Um, now, let me mention something about mountain biking. The other thing this works well for is for riding to the trails. So it's got this rubber thing where you, when you turn the mirror, it basically has a shim that pushes the rubber and makes it stay in your handlebars. And it also, by the way, if you can see here in the package, it's got two different size rubber 
uh, I don't know what you call them, just rubber shims or whatever uh, that you can put. So you've, you've got the, the fat size and the thin size. Now I use the fat size on my gravel bike. One thing I do want to mention about installing the mirror on your handlebar is sometimes it won't fit your handlebar. In other words, that rubber piece that's included is not quite fat enough. So the mirror comes with this little rubber shim that you can peel off the adhesive and wrap it around the rubber piece of the mirror. But what I typically do is I just cut a little piece of bicycle inner tube and I wrap it around the rubber piece of the mirror before I install it into the handlebars. And again, that takes up that extra space. What I found is that the thinner rubber piece that's included fits mountain bike handlebars and the fatter one is needed for my gravel bike or a road bike. But a good application is to put this in your bar end when you're riding to the trailhead and then when you get to the trails, just put the mirror in your camelback, in your jersey, whatever. And, you know, it does take up a little bit of space, but it's very light. Like, I mean, this it's, it's, it's plastic, right? It's plastic and the, obviously the glass is not super high quality. So, you know, it, it, it's light. If you do that, what I would recommend doing, more safety here, is put a plug in your bar end. So a plastic cap or something. Um, I had a crash years ago where I was trying to trials over a, a rock and I did, it was a short rock <laughs> and I didn't get the front end up to wheelie off of it. And I went off the rock, the bars turned and the bar went into my thigh. I did have a plug on that handlebar on the grip. And even though I had a massive hematoma on my thigh by the time I was finished with that ride and it lasted for like a week, had I not had a bar end, that would have been bad. Here's the thing is, if I had to choose between a bar end and riding to the trail with a mirror, I don't just for some reason, like if I just had to choose, I would choose the mirror because I just feel so exposed. If I can't be in control of what's going on behind me, as in I can monitor it and take action if I need to. Now, I've had some people made a comment. I, I mentioned that years ago and they said, you know, you shouldn't have to pull off the road the car is coming up behind you, you know, you got to let the driver know that you belong in the road. I get it. Like, but if, if I see a car that's 30 feet away from me and they are not giving me clearance, I'm going off the road. That's just the way it is. Uh, so like I said, I, you know, not only did I lose a buddy, I I've had several friends um, hit from behind. Uh, the other ones survived, but people are so distracted today. So this turned into a little bit of a different video than what I planned. I just wanted to show you the mirror, but it became a soap, a safety soapbox. So uh, that's it. Check it out. If you want to get this mirror, uh, click on the Amazon affiliate link in the description. And yeah, I recommend it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.